Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to download and install JDK on your system. First open any browser and search for JDK download. Open the first link which says Java SC downloads. Now there are different versions of JDK, Java SE 14, Java SE 11, SE 8, but here I am going to install the latest version. So click on JDK download. Here you can see that there are different files for different operating system, but you need to install the Windows X64 installer, which is for Windows 64-bit operating system, which is this file right here. Click on this link, accept the license agreement, and click on download. Now the file is downloading, so I'll minimize the browser. So the file has been downloaded, click on open, now it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, click on yes. Click on next. Now this is the default path where your JDK will install. Click on next. Now it is installing the JDK. This will take some time. So the JDK has been successfully installed now. I'll close this window. Now the next step is to set the environment variables. To do that first we need to locate where the JDK is installed. So click on this PC. Go to C drive. Program files. Go to the Java folder. JDK 14.0.1 Go to the bean folder Now control C and copy this path Now go to your search bar and type environment Now click on edit the system environment variables Now click on environment variables. Under system variable, you can see this path variable. Click on it. Click on edit. Click on new. And paste that path. Click on OK. Now if you want to use Java for development purpose or you want to use different IDs or tools for Java development, then it is better to set the Java home path as well. In order to do that under system variables click on new. Now in variable name type java underscore home in capital letters. In variable value paste that path only up to JDK. So remove the bin part. Now click on OK. OK. And that's pretty much it.
Now we are going to verify whether the JDK is installed properly and it is working or not. Go to the search bar and type CMD. Run the command prompt. Now in here type java space hyphen version. Now it is showing the java version that we just installed. Again type java c space hyphen version. And this is the java compiler version. And that's it. Now you are ready to run java programs on your own system. Alright guys thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.